the most unjust thing that you can do for yourself and everybody around you, especially other people who have such a big expectation of you is that you make yourself unhappy. How you are should never be determined by how somebody else is. Yeah. Once you allow that, you will remain a slave to somebody all your life yeah. because they will decide whether you will be happy or unhappy. Well, uh, if so many people are speaking from within you, if so many people are stuck in this one body, this is a ailment, isn't it? So, if there is more than one voice, you have to kill the other voices. You have to fix that one thing, that this one is never bad company. This is the best company you have. It has been reported that 85% of the world population suffers from low self-esteem. Low self-esteem is usually a product of rejection, neglect, and abuse. It's critical to address this problem since low self-esteem can compromise the quality of your life and lead to mental health problems. Understanding life from this perspective may help you to overcome situations where you put less value on yourself. How you are should never be determined by how somebody else is. Yeah. Once you allow that, you will remain a slave to somebody all your life yeah. because they will decide whether you will be happy or unhappy. Yes. What is the most important part of your life is what's happening within you, isn't it? Yeah. Whether misery happens within you or joy happens within you, it only comes from within you, isn't yes. it? So if joy is coming from within you, why can't you have it coming all the time? Because we have not taken care of this, isn't it? The most unjust thing that you can do for yourself and everybody around you, especially other people who have such a big expectation of you is that you make yourself unhappy. Because unhappy means unpleasantness. Unpleasant means… unpleasantness means inefficiency of life. See, when you are given such a sophisticated mechanism called mind, human mind is not a simple thing, it's a magnificent mechanism. Yeah. That's the whole thing <laughs> We are not looking at how this works. Simply we are trying to use it. By nature or by accident, people may get to use it, but not conscious. Okay. See, I am not talking about controlling your mind. Yeah. I am talking about liberating it yeah. from all kinds of additions that it has added on. Yeah. If you control your body, if you control your mind, what it means is your… control means to hold it within certain limits. But you become who you are in the world only because you cross the limits. Only because you cross the limits that other people never cross, you become whoever you are in the world. So the method should be not of control but of liberation. Over a period of time you gather a body and a certain level of mind. These two, if we know how to use it to our advantage, it'll work one way. Mm -hmm. See, right now, I am constantly involved with people day in and day out, twenty hours a day, I'm yeah. on and on and on with people seven days of the week. Yeah. But if I close my eyes, the world stops for me, finished it is. The world doesn't even exist for me if I close my eyes. You must bring at least a little bit of this essence into your life. So this is something that all of us have to understand. There is something called as reality. Yes. There is something called as impressions of reality that we carry within ourselves. Yes. So if you want to do something right, if you want to do anything right, First thing is, we are able to grasp the situation for what it is. We are able to grasp what is there and do the appropriate action. In human mind, there is perception, there is memory, there is imagination. Mm -hmm. People are not able to keep this thing separate. It is only the reality that you can handle. Memory and imagination you can only fancy with. One is about that which is over. One is… one is about that which is yet to happen. There is memory of the game, there is imagination of how you will carry the cup and there is a reality of a ball coming at you. So to keep this clarity of mind, there are methods with which you can hold your mind in such a way that this moment if I sit here, the memory of who I am 
my parentage, my upbringing, my growing up, my things or things that I know, if all these things come right now in my mind, I will not perceive what is here. Memory will play. Yes. Memory is not a reality because it is about something that is over, which does not exist. That which is, does not exist, if it impedes into that which exists, you will miss that which exists. This is so in everybody's life. There is substantial scientific and medical information today to clearly say only when you are at ease, your body and mind functions at its best. This is a simple process. The important thing is to make a distinction between what is you and what is not you. When I say what is you and what is not you, whatever you associate yourself with, after some time you start experiencing it as myself because somewhere in your mind you identify with it. Starting from the most fundamental thing, it goes into various things which causes enormous amount of disturbance and misery. But the most basic thing which breeds this is your own body and your mind. If you bring this distinction into your life, you will see suddenly your ability to use your body and your mind is phenomenally enhanced. Many, many fold, the same body and same mind, simply because you are not tangled up with it, you can use it so much better simply because there is a little bit of space between you and your body and you and your mind. This is guaranteed from me. Self-doubt is an act of questioning your own competence, and it is one of the blocks to your self-esteem. According to research, self-doubt likely happens when people close to you question your own choices. If you allow these voices to continue to affect you, you are potentially limiting yourself from growth. Here's a good explanation of that matter. How many monsters do you have <laughs> within you? I thought there's only one monster, that's you. See, if you are hearing two voices within you, an angelic voice and a monstrous voice, this doesn't mean something fantastic has happened. This means you are either schizophrenic or you're possessed. Well, uh, if so many people are speaking from within you, if so many people are stuck in this one body, this is a ailment, isn't it? This body is designed for one, isn't it? This is the most fundamental thing you must do. There's just you and you and you in this. There is no another. The moment there is another, this is a trick. Initially you play this trick. When something happens well, of course it's me. When something didn't happen, I don't know, some other voice, somebody else, my ego, <laughs> my… <laughs> All kinds of other creatures which don't exist, you manufacture in your mind. So, if there is more than one voice, you have to kill the other voices. Do you want your intellect to be sharp or blunt? Okay. So, uh, you naturally want your intellect to be sharp. That means intellect is a cutting instrument. It's like a knife. The sharper it is, the better it is, isn't it? If you hold it at the wrong end or if you move irresponsibly, you will cut yourself. Right now, these are all individual expressions of uh, someday I feel like this, someday I feel like this. Human beings essentially are going through a whole lot of suffering. Somebody is in the war zone, somebody is in a famine zone, I will leave those human beings because that's a different scene. But the rest of the people are all suffering only one thing, their own intelligence. If you took half their brain away, they would sit peacefully <laughs> So we are complaining about the greatest gift that we have. You have to fix that one thing, that this one is never bad company. This is the best company you have. For this, there is a simple uh, treatment. This simple treatment is just this. You start seeing this much, whatever happens to me in my life, Good things happen, ugly things happen, nonsense happens, great things happens, doesn't matter, whatever happens, 
and whatever did not happen in my life, it's all my responsibility. Now, there'll be only one person. If you see, this is my responsibility, there'll be only one person. You only have one life to live, and it's important to make sure that you are living the life that you want for yourself. No matter how the forces outside attempt to define your life, you are the only one capable of enriching it with meaning. Have courage and live it up for yourself. Learn more about understanding your life by clicking on the video displayed above. Let us know which ideas strike you the most by leaving us a comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more meaningful videos like this. Thanks for watching.